Give a damn about a hater when I feel like it. Not today, not today, not today, not tomorrow. Get out my way, please. I'm trying to get paid. Not today, not today, not today, not tomorrow. Get out my way, please. Welcome to Chapter 21. I'd like to mention that I have a trumped up criminal conviction by my sister Viju Wortley. Viju is my younger sister born on the 19th of June 1962. Her husband, Stephen Wortley, born on the 19th of June 1963, has worked for the Atomic Weapons Establishment. Since they graduated, they have lived close to the Atomic Weapons Establishment since they graduated. I also wanted to mention that I have attempted to get a visitor's visa to see my father. While he's still alive, my father does not believe he will live very long. Let's do a bit of math. If I was born on the 28th of August 1958, my father is going to be at least 21 years older than me. It's actually more than that. So what would his age be? I couldn't visit the UK when my mother died. In February 2022, I didn't have Irish permission but they are not very strict about those things. And they try to help people out in that situation. It's the UK authorities that won't let me enter. See my parents. And if something happens to my father, I won't be able to go there. You understand what I mean. Now Ireland is different from England. Their immigration rules are humane. They don't have a high security place where are reported they have security but the door is open and they got the best Wi-Fi town anyway when you wait to talk to someone I know that the Irish government wants to stop me from working or having a relationship it's just that they told me they can't give me any help to get work it doesn't help to need somebody to rehabilitate you back into work but if you are Illiterate such as levels 1 and 2, they can help you with working Ireland too I have explained I am not physically able to do the low-level me work and low-level females will not agree to employ me. That kind of moves me to the higher level a level too high for intro to assist me in the same way. As the UK Job Centre will not assist me what you have to do to get educated jobs or those on a Higher level is to look for jobs in professional magazines. Because of my work history rather lack of work history. I would prefer the really old-fashioned approach to go and talk face to face with prospective employers and places where someone such as me might not be unwelcome I am confident. Such a method will not be a total failure for me. But that works like a disabled app over here now. Understand what I am saying very carefully men have a higher ability than women in seeking and the natural law is that those who see shall find if they allow the natural lot of flourish men will find more of everything than women but they want to get close to 50-50 if you know what I mean so. They disabled that function they disable all functions where a man would get a higher score than a woman so that women might have equal advantage. There is another thing that they don't want women to have the abilities that other women don't have so as I'm quite educated compared to the average woman and person they wouldn't want to be me help which the average woman doesn't get. There's also a racial hygiene in the educated circles I'll explain in the coming few sentences what I mean and I Hope you figure out what I mean their emphasis today meaning the educated the scientific bodies is to find a home for female men cap in all the traditionally male professions. By female men cap I mean the traits of women there they are less competent than men so they are not going to bother with an older woman who is seeking they want to disable the seeking power of the entire population. They're particularly intolerant of seeking women because she has an ability that other women don't have and they have to cut it. I think whatever I've said about probably doesn't have much credibility. And then I also wanted you to tie all the knots together and figure out why this is racial hygiene. 
By racial hygiene I mean extermination of people of certain social group this does not have to be raised they are not the exterminated anyone based on their race. But it isn't pleasant to be exterminated and I do not want to live in this lonely hell and I no longer want women coming after me with support I know that the sun may not rise in the morning but women will come after me with support no no I've been trying to write books as I don't have too many friends I've not had people read it and give me some honest feedback it's hopeless without feedback my book was in the my name was in the Trinity College library catalog Trinity College is a big college in Dublin in Ireland and it is the place for legal deposits in Ireland this means if anybody writes a book inside the country they are supposed to possible to Trinity College who they finally and they can also send additional copies to associate libraries but at the author's expense if you are not it is in your interest to have your book documented and remember even if it is never opened I guess all my books to be open to be circulated I need to have some feedback and people who will sit and read it Going back to the subject my name was in the Trinity College book catalogue. Before I came to Ireland, I actually noticed that when I googled my own name sometime in London the distant past however in 2011, I was once again staying in railway hostile Kalani and I had written two books which I made a legal deposit of at the time to Trinity College taking legal Deposits was a one-woman show in Trinity College with the lady called Pact quickly she acted strangely as if she didn't want my books. Eventually I came to the conclusion that she may have just thrown away my books because nobody will know. What I did notice was sometime later my name was no longer in the Trinity College book catalog. There was never any conflict between me and Pat Quigley. I posted the legal department five copies of each book she sent to different places. You know Scotland, Cambridge and other places. But how would I know she really sent them unless I was able to search their catalogue after depositing the books my name was removed from the Trinity College book catalogue. My issue is that she may have strangely like she did not want my legal deposit I am supposed to submit it and she is obliged to receive it. It's not the question of whether it's good or bad she has to take whatever books have sent to her. She does not get to choose the books of people she fancies is that not a job so why did she remove me from the cult catalog when I would actually return more books. This goes back to the suspicion that the Institute of Physics is politically powerful and is able to influence the British Home Office. I think the influence would be in the area of people and promoting people things like that. If Trinity College do not like me for criticizing the Institute of Physics the original reason why my name was in their book catalogue was writing a book about the Institute of Physics. I did this after my expulsion so I have here Ireland which is altogether a more merciful in many ways but this place is socially a bit of a dump unless you have your own family or people of your own rates. Ireland is also working out as a bit of a woman's prison and I am surrounded by people who are compared to me. Educationally very backward and yes this is a problem to live absolutely no human relationship and having absolutely no work absolutely no one to talk to. They think I can talk to paid listen or social workers and Samaritans if I have no companionship well it's not being forced but my life is at home but on top of that there's the sabotage or problem with becoming an author in this country. It looks like the one woman who takes them doesn't want me to be an author. Apart from that we have these huge huge companies Amazon draft to digital and the bounds and noble. I'm going to be very brief here because I'm tired at all three have made me send them my books and then each one behaved 
in a different way and they wouldn't let me mount books on their platform to put it in one sentence. It's better to work with someone and work as part of a team someone to proofread may you know whatever it just being alone and they really asterisk 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 you up. The bottom line is sabotage by a book. Uploading platform has a big bean repeated so many times that I feel it's part of a trend and they don't want people to know they do it. In fact, Amazon has placed some kind of ban on my buying anything on Amazon a few months ago. I thought yesterday articles and none of them were books that is on Amazon. My debit card from the AIB refused to work, but Amazon took the money. It just wasn't going through. They just debited the money. AIB bank said there was nothing wrong with my card other AIB customers were able to use their card. It was Amazon that wouldn't accept the card and the theory was that in 11 working days that money will come back to me. It did come back to me in 11 working days and they apologized but they didn't let me pay. So the guy sees why would we stop you from buying things in Amazon because we want Amazon to make money now. I try once again to buy some book on Amazon and it keeps telling me I'm living the wrong country and the book is not available for sale. I keep trying various books and no matter what book I try it says I'm in the wrong country and this book is not for sale. It does this to any book or Kindle book but not through other articles. This might show that Amazon doesn't want me to buy any kind of reading matter or books but they don't mind if I buy other articles this would seem like a way to stop me engaging in reading writing book writing being an author they want to curb my intellectual activities but keeping me with women all the time and keeping me isolated and all kinds of things because through the type of medical treatment I am receiving I will not be murdered but I will die much sooner than if I received medical care This is effectively and cumulatively preventing me from doing all the things I would want to do in my life, but we shall perhaps politically a nuisance. Instead of killing me they are curving all my actions and maintaining me in a way that I can die off in an obtrusive way and nobody will ever find out at this point in my life. I see that euchanasia is a valid option for me. One thing I ask and pray for is that I shall be rid of women from my life. That we including good and bad people this means I will not receive help unless it is from men or certainly not female dominated. I feel there's a racial hygiene that only women can speak to me and I wish to oppose that and I'm not sure even work. This does not apply to people passing by and People working in a place you know it's not like that it's because I don't want women's support and intimacy and things like that. I don't want social workers and things like that I don't want these people. So I have written all about my situation and I don't need you can easier for this isolation and the fact that doctors don't give medical care I don't want to die sooner in a rotten man-made tone I want to die now unless it can improve. What can improve? I want proper care. Because this should happen at once. Because it is belated it could be too late to get me well. One thing in life is I would like to get well as much as possible. If getting well is not possible. Euthanasia is suitable for me even though I'm not critically ill as such I don't want to live in a woman prison and I don't want to live without any conversation my books are being sabotaged but I don't want these things to be removed by women especially if all this does being done for their sake so I'd like everybody in the world to know no matter poorly I have expressed myself somehow I want people all over the world to read and understand this message I feel that every aspect of my Suffering has been man-made while most people may not be aware may not be responsible.